Hello my friends, it's Danny, and today I'm showing you how to make homemade dog food. Our dog Charlie, he's four years old, we recently decided to switch him from store-bought foods to homemade food. And really, I figured if everybody else in our house was eating clean and delicious, why not Charlie. Plus, I've really discovered that making homemade dog food is really easy to do. You have so many options, so many different varieties. So today what I'm going to show you is a really great, well-balanced starter recipe that's both easy to make and super versatile. So the one thing I would suggest if you plan to start making homemade food for your dog food is to do a little research just so you know the foods that dogs are not supposed to eat, right? So there's foods like onions, garlic, kale, grapes, raisins. Reasons. Um, what I would recommend is doing a quick Google search to find an all-inclusive list of the foods they can't eat and or to buy a few doggy cookbooks and do a little bit of research. I will be sure to leave the books that I purchased when I was researching this myself down in the description box below if you want to check them out. I also called the vet just to make sure that I had the green light and that I wasn't missing anything. So do anything that you feel you need to do to take the necessary precautions, but also keep Keep in mind, there's really not that much to worry about and it's probably a lot easier than you think. So to get started, I'm going to heat a nice large saute pan over a medium heat. You could also use a pot. Actually, if you're doubling or tripling the recipe, I recommend using a pot for sure. And I'm going to melt one tablespoon of coconut oil. Once the coconut oil has melted down, I'm adding in one pound of ground turkey. This could also be ground beef and I'm just going to start breaking it up. You just want to break it up until you have crumbles and let this cook for about 10 minutes or until it is cooked through and lightly browned. Next up, I'm going to add the veggies and we're using about three cups total, starting with one cup of shredded zucchini, which is about one large zucchini, then one cup of shredded carrots, which I washed and peeled, and then a big old handful of baby spinach, which I just gave it really rough chop and cut it up nice and fine. Now, it is not recommended that you add salt to your dog's food, but there are lots of um, spices and herbs that can be really beneficial to the dog. So I'm also gonna add in a half a teaspoon of turmeric because that's an anti-inflammatory and it's great for their digestion, along with the tiniest pinch of black pepper to help activate that turmeric. Then we're just going to stir this all together, get all of the meat mixed up with the vegetables, and let it cook for another eight minutes or so. Really what we're looking for is for those veggies to become nice and tender. And because they're cut so small, it doesn't take much time at all. Then I'm just gonna turn off the heat, and I'm gonna crack one egg right into the pan. And the residual heat from the meat and the veggies is gonna cook this egg. So I'm just gonna stir it in, get it really well incorporated. Not only is this gonna add extra flavor, but it's gonna add a little more protein, some healthy fats, and some great vitamins and minerals as well. And then the final ingredient is three cups of cooked brown rice. This could also be white rice. I'm just gonna stir this in. You can make the rice however you prefer. I like to take a shortcut method. I usually buy frozen brown rice and just cook it up in the microwave and then I let it cool a bit and add it right into this mixture. And you're gonna see that once everything comes together, it looks beautiful. You might even wanna take a bite of it yourself, which would be totally fine because there's nothing in there that you can't eat. But what you wanna let it do is cool down completely before you serve it. And then what I do is I transfer it into an airtight container and this will last in the fridge up to five days. And if you wanted it to go the long haul, you could pop it in in the freezer for up to three months. Now this makes about six cups of food, which for Charlie, who's about 40, 45 pounds, is three days worth of food. So I do recommend if you plan to start cooking for your dog on a regular basis, scale up the recipes so you don't have to be in the kitchen every three or four days, right? Make enough to get you through a week or two, um, or even three if you're leaning on your freezer. And I also want to share that if you're not ready to do the deep dive and start cooking for your dog on a day-to-day -day basis, but you are intrigued by this, just keep in mind that just adding some fresh whole foods to the dog's food can be extremely beneficial for the dog. I mean, before we dove all the way in, oftentimes my husband would add a scrambled egg to Charlie's food, or he might add some shredded carrots or apples, maybe a little dollop of Greek yogurt, right? So you can kind of ease your way into the process, or even if you never plan on going all in, just adding those little bits of fresh, real whole foods can really be not only a treat for the dog, but super good for their health as well. Charlie has really been enjoying his homemade food, as you can see, which really gives me a lot of inspiration to keep 
playing around in the kitchen and finding more delicious meals that he can enjoy. I also plan to experiment with some doggy treats as well. So if you want to see more of this on the channel, let me know. Come on down to the comments and I am of course happy to share. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you found this helpful, please share with a friend, take a moment to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new recipe. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees and I'll see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers.